Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Joe. Welcome to Joe's Bibles. And today I have a very special video for you. This is the 10 month crash test of my RL Allen ESV1 in mid brown. Okay, so I'm doing this 10 month crash test because somebody on one of the Facebook Bible groups that I'm a part of, actually the greatest Facebook Bible group called Everything Bibles, somebody on there asked if I could do a review or a 10 month uh, review of my R.L. Allen ESV ones. Mm -hmm. I bought this Bible November 2nd. It is now August, mid-August uh, as I'm filming this. And when I first got this Bible, November 2nd of last year, 2020, uh, the, the cover was very stiff, uh, but over time you can see how soft it is now and how floppy it is. At first it was really stiff and I was concerned, wow, is this ever going to break in? And it did, over use, uh, over time with regular use. So I have used this Bible almost every day since I got it November 2nd. Uh, how does it feel? Uh, it's a little bit sticky. And so I'm going to say something, it's sticky and smooth, but it is a little bit grippier and stickier, uh, sticky now. I think over time, it has become more grippy because of maybe the oils in my fingers and in my hands, I don't know. It's just easier to hold, even though there is still sort of like a slickness to the cover. You could see that um, over time, uh, this is what I would do, you could see that there's a little bit of a creasing on the edges there over the yap. Uh, or with the app and this is what I would normally do uh, when I'm just kind of sitting around holding the Bible I would just crease it and you can see that it still has retained that crease uh, with a yap Here's the back of the Bible again also very soft and floppy I have read through this entire Bible twice using, uh, primarily using the Professor Grant Horner reading system. Uh, after reading 250 days or using that system for 250 days, I noticed that I was still, there was still some Old Testament left over that I needed to read, which is why I had to do my own reading plan. Anyway, as I go through the Bible, I highlight in a yellow Pigma Micron pen, 05. And you can see, let me, sh let me turn to a page that has a highlighter or something that's been highlighted. Okay, so here is a page that has yellow highlighting and yellow underlining, yellow marks. Let me show you the pens that I use. I use a yellow Pigma Micron 0. Uh, 05 and then I use this yellow mild liner. So this yellow mild liner is what I use to highlight this verse. Let me show you the back of it. So you can see that I did a lot of highlighting right here. And on the back, you can see that there's not much show through. So the paper is nice and thick. And I really love this paper. Uh, marking on it, you can see that there's a, a pencil mark that I wrote on there. So I love marking on these uh, pages because they're nice and thick. Uh, they, the paper is not stark white, but it is bright. And let me tell you, when I'm reading this at night, it really, really helps to have a whiter, not, this is not stark white, a whiter page uh, to read from when I'm reading it at night. But the paper is excellent. The paper is really good. This isn't line matched, but the paper is really good. It's, it's nice and thick. So it, I don't even, I'm not even bothered by the fact that that it's not line matched. So let me turn to more pages just so you could see. This is really held up well. Um, I've been really impressed by it. I'll show you the back with the lined paper. So this is a list of the Bibles that I've uh, or books of the Bible that I've read. You can see that I have read through it twice. So this is the date of the first reading, and then this is the date of the second reading. And when I receive a Bible, I like to write where I purchased it from. This is from BiblesDirect.com, and when I received it. So I got this November 2nd, 2020. And you can see I just write some of my favorite verses or verses that have stuck out. 
prayers, some thoughts. So I love this about the, uh, the ESV one is that it has nice thick line paper in the back. Let me show you one thing that concerns me a lot. And I don't know if you're going to pick this up in the camera, but uh, one thing that concerns me after 10 months of use is the spine. It has this ridge. I don't know if you could see it, but it has a little ridge that began to form as I used it. Or I don't know if this is a, a ridge. Maybe a better phrase or word is there's a crease that has started to form as I read through it or as I've been reading through it. I don't know if that's a, a good concern or if that's a legitimate concern moving forward, but I thought I'd point that out uh, for those of you who are thinking of buying this Bible. Anyway, this is a short 10-month crash test of this Bible. I love this Bible. I love that it is uh, eight and a half by five and a half, a perfect everyday carry. Uh, paper is really good. Um, the binding has held up really well, and uh, yeah, I think over time this will hold up or continue to hold up really well. Okay, that's it. Thank you for joining me in this video. I hope you, I hope this was informative for you. Um, please let me know your comments below. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and have a great day.